Welcome, guys. So on. We started this competition with 22 artists. Now, you are the last four standing. You have a one in four shot to win $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Coaches, you've led your teams through battle to wage war on each other. And now, you both have two artists in the top four. But the fight is not over. No way. Every artist from your team to make it to the finale earns you the power to sabotage your opponent in the final grudge match. I want to. This week, there is no flash challenge. <coughs> Go right the into it. You'll be judged on all of the essential skills an Ink Master must possess. Throughout the entire competition, you have competed with or against one another, learning each other's strengths and weaknesses. It's time to use that information against each other, because today, you have the power to sabotage another artist. <laughs> you will each create a six-hour line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing, and you must tattoo the line drawing of the artist who calls you out. <laughs> this is anybody's game right now. Tony and Tiffer need to play it smart. They need to keep each other alive right now. You have to do a killer design, and you have to do a great job on the design that is given you. You can tattoo it any style you want, but you do have to use the line drawing that is given you. We don't want you just giving them something crappy and saying, ha-ha, screw you, because that will go against you in the critique. That's a fair fight. Who wants $100,000? Three of you ain't getting paid. One of you is. Which one of you is it going to be? Bring it. To determine who gets to call out the first artist, you will draw skulls. On the bottom of one of the skulls is an X. Get the X, and you will get to pick which artist you want to design for. The artist that is picked will then get to pick the artist he wants to design for, and so on. But you cannot call out the artist who called you out. Wow. This is where it gets gnarly. The picking order has been randomly assigned. TJ, you get to draw for the X first. Get this. Yeah. Boom! Oh, okay, TJ, congratulations. You drew the X. Which artist are you going to call out? Tim. Oh. Very interesting. Surprising. Tim is probably the best illustrator that has graced this competition. I wouldn't want him to give me a stencil that I didn't know what to do with. It's a smart play. Tim, who do you call out? Let's go with Tony. Because he challenged me, and I want to challenge him back. Respectable duel. Tony, which artist do you call out? Tiffer. He's going to come up with any design better than I could to stump TJ. And Tiffer, that means you will be designing TJ's tattoo. Got it. All right, the road to the finale starts now. Get to work on your designs, and we will send in your canvases. Good luck. Let's do it. Come on, guys, we got this. You got some kind of plan? I'm drawing for Tim. Are you going to hand him a lob? I don't know yet. Do you see Tim as being one of your biggest competitions? I can see Tim as being in the way. I'm not going to hold it against you if you do what you got to do. This is top four, so I've got to bite my tongue, let them do what they're going to do, and earn their own spot. Our team's only shot at taking one of them out is your design for Tony. That's what I'm looking at his work, seeing what he does well. Smart. See. We need you to draw something that he can knock out of the park. Which I'm going to. Tiffer and Tony are playing it super smart. They're trying to keep each other alive, and I think it's going to work out in their favor. I got you, Tiffer. Just make sure you stump TJ. That's all I ask in return. You got it. I want Tim to be in the finale, but I don't want to give him a layup. You ever see this? Ah, hate faces. But you'll kill it. Did he just say he hates that? He might have thrown him a curveball. I'm giving Tim a woman's face, neo trad look to her, something that I would think he would approach with color that he can really show off. When you're fighting for 100 grand, you have to look at Tim and think he could be a huge threat. Tim's probably going to do new school, so Tony's a little nervous because he's not a new school guy. Uh, OK, I think you're going to love it, because this is exactly what I would do. <laughs> this thing is cool, man. This is why I respect you, because you're a killer artist. Have fun. It's pretty dope, but it's not easy. All right, T-Dog. Here's my question with Tony is, did he hand Tiffer a lob? <laughs> oh, 
I would kill it, which means I know you will definitely kill it. I'm pumped. Cool, man. I'm interested to see what Tipper does, because I think he's smart. I'm excited to see all these drawings. Well, TJ, you've had this new fascination lately with Neo Trad and my style, so I gave you something that I would want to do. All right. <laughs> He's probably trying to figure out how he's going to do it in black and gray. <laughs> I got to put up, shut up, make a good tattoo out of something. I don't even know what it is. We're going to see real quick who's actually playing to win. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo another artist's line drawing. And your time starts now. Wait. All right, let's do it, guys. Today, these artists, they are going to be judged on both the design and the tattoo that they do. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. If you do a great tattoo, but you do a drawing, you just took yourself out of the win. Where would you put black in this thing? Under, hold on, underneath. Tony's being smart. He's doing a quick color study on that piece. It's a good drawing, but it's got some tricks in it. It does have some tricks in it. Leave this the shine. OK. And then I'd have darks everywhere else. Oh, OK. You know? I came here thinking that I couldn't make it. And I've just been disproving myself this whole time. I can actually do this. A regular old dude can actually prove that he can hang with the best and he could send the best home. I would make this tone darker than that tone. That makes perfect sense. I need to get on that stage. I've gone too far to turn back. Oh, yeah, I already like that much better. Five hours left, guys. Five more hours. All right, buddy, here we go. This line work is time consuming as Tiffer totally threw me a shot with giving me all these lines. Oh, you're going to do a color? Cool. I figured that would make sense, right? I think it would look a little better, personally. I'm glad Tiffer's giving me a challenge. I'm one of those people that I strive under pressure. So you're doing fairly dark hair? Very dark. I hate the fact that TJ handed me this space. Like, he knows that would probably be the last thing that I would want to do. I feel like TJ's totally trying to trip me up right now. How's Tim doing? It looks good, but I don't think his black and gray is as smooth as usual. I didn't think he was going to do it in black and gray. I intended for Tim to do this in color. This sucks. Two more hours left, guys. Two more hours. Did you give me all this line work on purpose? Oh, you know I did. I sacrificed a lot growing up so that I could chase this dream of racing professional motocross and supercross. And it has taught me a lot. Not to F you over. Oh, no, I got that. How to be mentally prepared for anything. You can't be afraid of somebody that's better than you at the track. Yeah, dude, you're killing it. You're doing this exactly the way I wanted it to be done. I have that mental strength that a lot of people do not have. I've been training for this my whole life, and I didn't even know it. Five. Four, three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. Tell me you finished. No more ink. I finished. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Down oh, to the God, I'm over here having a heart attack. Dude, that thing is amazing. Sick, man. TJ, what happened, bro? What happened? He just crushed that tattoo. Oh. You know I don't know about those color choices. I You're acting like you guys already I won this. No, I'm not. It ain't over yet, clean.